And we know they've been operating under color, so we have this tendency to mm. try not to rock the boat, trying to get them to do their job that ain't their damn job. Mm -hmm. they, it's your job. Yeah, step up, make the claim. Amen. And we got to remind ourselves, and I think we, um, this is where we need to work towards. Mm -hmm. Now, we need to strongly emphasize with ourselves mm. the distinction between the corporate privileges um, that are that were put in place to steal the birthright mm -hmm. in the first place and always be clear on the missionary work of the Morris Divine National Movement and that is the reclaiming of the lost estate which mm -hmm. would include birthrights and other rights and lands because mm -hmm. we got to keep in mind what land actually means mm -hmm. you know that a lot of our people are still in the mentality that land means the aggregate dirt out there. Mm -hmm. But land means hereditaments, corporal mm -hmm. and incorporal, mm -hmm. titles, mm -hmm. rights and liberties, and other rights and even offices mm -hmm. that appear on its surface not to come under the title of land, but mm -hmm. absolutely do. Mm -hmm. now, so we got to remember that. Mm -hmm. We got to remember... Um, United States Code of Law, uh, uh, book title, 12, 12, and subdivision 9A and 9B, where the United States Corporation, when, um, when they um, breached, as, as an example, under uh, um, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, mm -hmm. right, they're obligated to all of the so-called monetary debts you that 12. they allege mm -hmm. are ours. Mm -hmm. Twelve section what? Nine A and B. Yeah, I'm gonna get. Hold on. I got. I got some. Uh, I got some. Some more thunder stuff. No, some. Uh, some correction. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> but the real <laughs> deal is now. Help me. <laughs> our. All right, I'm starting to transfer this. Over the years, our enforcing you know, Article 3 courts. Mm -hmm. and, and people who have been less sincere in this movement, mm -hmm. particularly people in authority, because we've been emphasizing specifically um, the Court of Diversity of Nationality and Diversity of Citizenship, which is Consular Court. Mm -hmm. And since usually when people make reference to Article 3, mm -hmm. they usually don't make reference to the Consular Court. Yeah, they leave out so, section two, they just read section one. when we <laughs> are talking consular court, people who have not been sincere mm -hmm. to the Moorish movement and enforcing our constitution don't recognize it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all, all, it's do all. you understand? It's almost yeah. like saying um, the soda bottle without talking about what soda's in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Type thing. They always talk in constitution enforcement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they, never but they have never been honorable to it, so they have never been under the pressure to really examine mm -hmm. what they're saying and not saying. This is why, like, when people like yourselves go to the temple and start getting into the details, it appears on the surface mm -hmm. that you're contradicting. Yeah, the program. When actually you refined mm -hmm. and specifically exercising the law. We, mm -hmm. The thing that makes them uncomfortable is that they have not been exercising the law and they've been calling what they've been doing the law. Mm -hmm. Which is why they always try to pull rank with the title mm -hmm. with no substance to it. Mm -hmm. You know, like, oh, I'm the sheriff, so therefore the sheriff gets peanut butter sandwiches. That don't, that's not in your <laughs> delegated authority. <laughs> you know, you don't give me your lunch. Because you try to like it today, yeah. You know, they, in other words, they just, they yeah. take titles and then add, and, and they'll say authority, meaning that, Oh, yeah. I'm dictator. Our authority. Yeah. I, <laughs> but it ain't civics. Yeah, it ain't civics, but, though. It's religious. <laughs> uh, religious authority. authority. When you're talking authority in any society, you're talking civics. Uh -huh. I don't care what you... <laughs> talking civics. Not that, and, and, and not just that. There's a distinction between religion and spirituality. Mm -hmm. They only get away with it because people aren't learning it. Yeah, most people don't know what religion means. Do you understand? And the real line and the gold. All right. <laughs> now, uh, open up um, U.S. Bankruptcy 2. Yeah, bankruptcy. It's in here? Yeah, and remember, I got to do some 
some some, some spell checks on that. Gotcha. So so I'm going to send you the the because I'm working on it on my other computer. Gotcha. Um, and I'm gonna make sure you you got that too. You didn't bring me my paperwork. The the two the, the thing that I asked from uh, um um. 1947 in terms of uh non pro Yeah, the non-pro is in my lesson book. It's in my lesson I book. I, 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 I apologize, uh, D Yeah, I ain't making no more hoodles and noodles till you give oh, it yeah. to me. Yeah, I gotta I, but I gotta really open up my other computer and right, get right, it. Right, you know. Truthfully, my hard drive. Cause cause what happened, that was one of my lesson books that was on my um my uh, other other Mac that, that uh, Roz had given to her friend mm -hmm. and Never gave it back to me, and then other stuff that she locked away, so I couldn't get to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, yeah, yeah. So I had some stuff on my other computer, and so I was trying to pull that back up. But that had, you know, that was that old four, old, you know, four of uh, um, Microsoft, and it's it's on the crash computer. But anyway, what I want you to do is is is. Read, read, because it's really only a couple of pages. I want you to read it out. Shana? Alright, it says, uh, in the matters of the House Joint Resolution 192, 73rd Congress in session, June 5th, 1933, U.S. bankruptcy martial law has been in effect since then. The bankruptcy of the United States. The following is a fraction of available notations made upon the operative results of organized and planned political, social, and economic executions fostered by owners and administrators of the United States Corporation and their crown, associates via their secret treaty of Verona. Directly connected to these earlier designed covert and overt war agreements, to overthrow all republics was the coup d'etat directed to neutralize and to assassinate Abraham Lincoln, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. circa 1860s. Mm -hmm. So when one takes into consideration the current negative conditions existing via the corrupt politics and social order at North America in the 2000s and beyond, the foresaid must be viewed and recognized as a foundational backdrop. In the more recent and current state of affairs, 2014 and, and beyond, there are worse economic, social, and political things to come which were and are directed against the people and against the subverted constitutional republic. The subverters of the republic have never rested in their dedicated mm -hmm. missionary work and if their entrenched misprison is not put in check at North America, much more suffering is a guaranteed outcome. With that being said, we can expect the pains, the miseries, and the abuses that attend the unchecked corruption existing at every level of the de facto U.S. corporate government. If we, the people, do not wake up, if we do not or don't enforce the Republic's Constitution, and if we don't seriously demand some accountability from those men and women who misrepresent themselves as our alleged servants in government, we should be held as complicit to the frauds imposed under a color of office, under a color of authority, and under a color of law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Study the nature of the frauds and of the attending unconstitutional issues that brought about the conspired U.S. bankruptcy. With these following facts in mind, the Republic political circumstances were not unplanned. Review the following documented information in contemplation of and in association with the preceding acts of sedition committed by an apparent dominant number of the members of all branches of a compromised governing body politic. Mm. The record shows that among the numerous acts of misprison includes the unacknowledged coup d'etat against Abraham Lincoln, mm -hmm. which took place on March 27, 1861, and leading up to the act of Congress February 2, 1781. It's an interesting date. That's boring me, but anyway... Mm -hmm. Um, these acts were veiled under the public claims made that expressed that the Congress adjourned sine dia. We were talking about earlier. The record will show that many aspects of the subverting barratry operations born among the British accredited registry or bar members was and is apparent to any diligent or credible researcher. The conspiring bar members dedicated mission of enforcing the quote secret treaty of Verona is undeniable and their plans to undermine the Republic were no doubt already set in place and established in the later years or latter years of their barratry operations 
came the later follow-up via the hegemony criminality of Woodrow Wilson. Mm. His anti-constitutional administration and their feudal law stacked Congress, feudal law stacked Congress, pardon me, their treasonous and culpable actions and Congress, Congress's feudal legislation acts were marked by the infamous meetings which took place on Jekyll Island, Georgia. Conjoin these to the unconstitutional acts which were key to abrogating the Constitution and solidifying the political foundations that laid the groundwork for the later established private and unconstitutional Federal Reserve Banking System in 1913. And with this entity in place, they were enabled to impose their Inquisition-derived Internal Revenue Service uh, IRS in 1916, I was reading the Inquisition Revenue Service. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what it is. Yeah, the Inquis I, that's I one of the things that I'm Revenue fixing Services. in there. If you, if you get the point. Yeah, yeah. So I'll be fixing that. All right. Uh, I'll just leave that there. These and other unconstitutional acts committed by the members of the bar associations, past and present, continue with the institutionalized and ongoing effects of the following: Roosevelt and the Congress wages war against the Constitution. This is like Chapter Two. No, just, oh, just, just the these part. are God, these are just mean, just point reference points yeah, right at the back. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna put this on the site. Yeah. Yeah. When I clean up, I'm gonna this on the site. Because you know, I'm, I'm putting it in in in, in the uh, the study files. All right, that I'm just adding it to the study files. All right, also for the updates. All mm -hmm. right, cool. I'm already here. <laughs> the fact of the matter is the United States Constitution did go bankrupt in 1933 and was declared so by its president, President Roosevelt, by executive orders 6073, uh, comma, 6102. And I'll do them outward in my lesson book. See, this is like, like a right, excerpt. The, but when I'm in my lesson book, I'm going to go into each one of those executive <laughs> orders so that people can really understand. But go ahead, because mm -hmm. I'm going to read. All right. And by Executive 6260 on March 9th, 1933, this was executed under the Trading with the Enemy Act of October 6th, mm -hmm. 1917, mm -hmm. as amended by the Emergency Banking Relief Act 40, Statute 1, Public Law Number 1, which is presently uh, confined or codified, pardon me, at 12 USCA, or that's United that's States Code's annotated, yeah, 95I, ah, that's your not, 95A, and confirmed at 95B. I'm following you now. You can confirm this for yourself by reading it on finelaw.com, I'm guessing. Mm, yeah. That's what that's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. um, thereafter, Congress confirmed the bankruptcy on June 5th, 1933, and thereupon impaired the obligations and considerations of contracts through the. Oh, all right, let me read that again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for the people, for the listeners. Mm -hmm. From the top. The fact of the matter is, the United States Corporation did go bankrupt in 1933 and was declared so by the pres by its president. And that should be bankrupt again. again yeah. but, but, you know, I'll fix yeah, it. Yeah. But, but I'm, a, right. I got, I'm working on the other computer, so I'll, yeah, I'll flash this. Talked about when I fix this, I'm going to flash it back yeah. on all the files. By the beam. Including all right. your file, because I already got that on your file, mm -hmm. that folder that I give you. Mm -hmm. But I got when I update it, I'm going to put it on your file. Then, right. then when I transfer that to you, it's already on your file anyway. All right. All right. We're talking, this is what I'm yeah. saying to you. Because mm -hmm. we have to keep these things in mind, because mm -hmm. we keep forgetting that when they did the, the, the breach, and, and even when they started using the birth certificates to back their corporation, they also had to give the remedy in the 95A mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we are supposed to actually get vouchers. they supposed to actually... Mm -hmm. That's where the discharge comes from. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I follow you. And so we don't need no damn... So then... We don't need no daggone um, uh, uh, um, nine, nine point nine, number two, yeah. two, nine, two. Nine. So then what we was talking about before with the restoration... In the documents and whatnot, that part of our now we've we've got the platform by which we can <laughs> lawfully execute. Uh -huh. We could talk the moral argument, mm -hmm. yes, yeah, all day. But however, the platform is Article Three courts, mm -hmm. but it's up to us to do what Drawley say Act mm -hmm. One to enforce the law. Mm -hmm. Now, and and that is mm -hmm. the platform. It's not. It's not optional. Mm -hmm. That's the platform. You can make the same argument, but off the platform, and you don't have the validity. You do technically, but you don't really have. You now you got a court. Mm -hmm. Use it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is what I'm saying. It's long. What we want, we need to organize the people in the different districts and execute the law. It's long. Judicial memo. You don't need to ask them for anything. You tell them. It's yeah. long. But what happens is. 
uh, and this has been a pattern, you know, as people wake up and suffering, and, and the people who should have been doing their job hadn't been doing the job, people have been forced to fight as individuals, mm -hmm. instead of energy the units, and been overwhelmed mm -hmm. or ignored. Though you were right. Yeah. Meaning that you was on point. You made the argument. You made it right. You argued it to the right people, but you didn't have the support. Exactly. And their color of law and color of operations. Yeah. Because they ain't like they're going to say, oh, damn, you caught me. Yeah, Let me sack my it's, desk. It's not that they're not moving because you're not right. They're not moving because you, you don't you don't realize that this is really a, a, a mobocracy. And not exactly. <laughs> you're admitting it and then yeah. acting like you don't yeah, know you don't what you really just admitted. admitted. Yeah, what you just admitted. You're, t you're, you're admitting <laughs> that they're de facto, then you're going at them. It's expecting a de jure activity. Yeah, something de jure to come out of and it. And then, <laughs> then you let them offer you, well, we'll give you non digit numbers, you bite this apple, we're mm -hmm. going to give you something. Oh, well, should I do this? Yeah. No. You, Not really. What do you <laughs> You know, I mean, Not do, really. Do you, so this is basically yeah. what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And all I'm saying is, the more we get Moors to act on the Constitution and Treaty Principle, Mm -hmm. Rather than just agreeing that that is the law, mm -hmm. what happens? We keep agreeing it's the law, then we won't act on it. It's wrong. Mm -hmm. it's wrong. Then so, we keep on trying to fight as individuals with a from a compromised position uh -huh. or offer that they make that's really designed to bull you off the corporate, off the constitutional platform into a corporate process yes. that's already human trafficking. It's wrong. Yeah. It's wrong. Promises, mm -hmm. but everything that they do. Is designed to steal your birthright, mm -hmm. or to or to live off your virtues. It's not designed to liberate you from their clutches. Mm -hmm. It's designed to put you in their clutches, even if it, uh, the glove seems velvet, yeah, or golden, which the nine-digit <laughs> number promise mm -hmm. appears velvet. That's the IRS. Mm -hmm. The IRS good. is the Inquisition Revenue Services. Mm -hmm. It is the setup by the oligarch, the kingship oligarchy that was set up. By the Congress who adjourned Sina Dia, mm -hmm. they set up a kingship oligarchy for themselves, which is why today they have free medical care, they got everything free, and they put the they enforce the laws that they create for the corporate foundation onto the people and make the people pay for it and make the people pay for all losses of the IRS and the bankers. Standing a shorty. And everything that we yes, everything we do. In relationship to them, because we won't enforce that constitution, because we keep we keep thinking in our mind, sort of like the, them, uh, some of these people do in the mm -hmm. temples, mm -hmm. think because they got the title that they have arbitrary authority yeah, the over the Moors Americans, mm -hmm. in or out of the temple, and they can just make up whatever their authority is. Yeah, at heart, <laughs> you, you know. Um, uh, uh, and then when you present a legitimate mm -hmm. point, they know you're right, so they're going to shut you up. Oh, the meeting's over. Um, <laughs> I'm the chairman, so I can I can close the meeting down. I'm closing the doors. At, I'm closing the doors at 11. Well, it's 11.58. I mean, it's 10.58. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know we don't yeah. shut down to 12. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and this, you know, yeah. always trying to pull rank. Uh -huh. But we've got to remember, mm -hmm. Amendment 9, all... And, and the principle of trusteeship. Mm. Once a fiduciary breaches, I don't care if they're sitting in the office and the lights are on. They are not office holders. And they can't breach and then step back on and say, well, I'm going to act right tomorrow. All the rights automatically revert back to the people. Now, whether the people exercise the right that belongs to them, that's another issue. And it's outside of that venue with them. Yes. It's outside of any conversation with them or any permission with them. And we're still having this mentality that we got to seek some kind of permission or application with them. We've got to purge ourselves of that. Uh -huh. However, we strengthen ourselves by acknowledging what we all agreed to, to help in the missionary work of bringing the people back into the constitutional fold of government, enforcing that constitution for the United States. And the enforcement of diversity is Article 3. Problem is, is that the the, the men and women who, who committed themselves by word mm -hmm. and title to carry out this missionary work have been in breach and they have been practicing breach. What do you say? I Moors have, have been coming into the temples under breached persons mm -hmm. who have been assuming 
authority that they abandon and the people keep submitting to their opinions, mm -hmm. not recognizing that the birthright is theirs. So this, this mentality of subordination that we have is what we have to purge. But that's what he says. I have a few faithful moors, you know, and, and I'm telling you, dear brother. That's going to help me. He says, help me in my great, and he tells you the great missionary work is to enforce that constitution. But he said it's coming from both sides, you know, both sides, that it, from our side of the nation. As and he well, says, some of the Europeans are even trying to help me. Why aren't you? The Negro problem is your problem. problem. Yeah. Now, but that's the point. So mm -hmm. keep in mind. And so we, just like when I did in, re, in the reversion, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I talk about 95A, mm -hmm. this is because the United States Corporation Company, the debt is theirs, not yours. We keep accepting the debt that they're implying is on us. Standing assurances. Yeah, standing assurances for, for them. <laughs> they party and they say, and the nine, and the nine digit number yeah, is a conditional. Uh, how to say jurisdictional claim? Will you give it back to them the authority to regulate your interest in the, in your estate? Mm -hmm. And all I'm saying is, and like you're assigning them as trustees at that it, point. Again, you've assigned them, you've mm -hmm. authorized them. Mm -hmm. When the issue of our activities is to disengage them mm -hmm. from the personation that has been continued. Mm -hmm. Under the guise of being government, but in, even though we know they're de facto, mm -hmm. we're trying to peacefully get along with them and get some things done. Yeah. Uh, and we 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 keep on what we keep on doing is going in the cave, pulling down this side of the turtleneck, and say, <laughs> yeah. "Man, peace, come on, oh, get a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm giving you the small vein today." <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? And don't, don't take all of it. <laughs> and this is what we're doing. <laughs> you know, it's the compromission. Yeah. But what I'm saying and implying uh, that we need to really look at the 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 growing activity mm. on the honors of, of, of a lot of uh, uh, new coming Moors Islam. who are in the process of learning, who are exercising the Article Three Court. Mm. And we have deliberately not tried to micromanage them. Islam. We support them in the background and, and let them evolve so that they don't get, you know, you don't want to suppress that to creative stay. energy. Yeah. Now, let's consider this. Already, they've already extracted over 28 people from prisons. That's all right. So, the fact that they've been exercising what we've been telling a lot of Moors for years mm -hmm. makes them worthy. Mm -hmm. Let us use this growth that we ourselves have created. You know, when we started, you know, uh, 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 doing the questions and, and presenting it openly to the people. Mm -hmm. And people was criticizing, you know, what we give that shit on the internet and getting people mm -hmm. waking up and blah, you know, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. but, but the deal of it is, it took on new life, even though we've been doing this for years. It took on new life. Mm -hmm. I did. It has a life of its own. Mm -hmm. We should seize advantage of it. And use it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it is the platform. And I think, uh, uh, again, like I said mm -hmm. earlier, because we are saying consular court restoration, people aren't, it's not dawning on them that we're restoring Article 3 court. Mm -hmm. And the other issue mm -hmm. in all of the other processes, including the nine digit numbers, including the birth certificate, authenticate, mm -hmm. all these different positions that they're taking, including UCC, financial, all, all these things are attacks, not so much attacks, but attempted, Tracks. attempted, um, attachments mm -hmm. or demands that are not called demands by beneficiaries and heirs who don't necessarily recognize themselves as heirs mm -hmm. to a fiduciary operation mm -hmm. that's clearly in breach. Mm -hmm. You give me some of my shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you can just it already reverted it's back to yours. Yeah. You ain't claiming it. Right. You, and we know they've been operating under color, so we have this tendency to mm. try not to rock the boat, trying to get them to do their job that ain't their damn job. Mm -hmm. they, it's your job. Yeah. Step up, make the claim. Amend, and we got to remind ourselves to read Amendment 9. Mm -hmm. Over and over again. Mm -hmm. Even give the Constitution. Mm 
Constitution? Yeah. And just a reminder, mm -hmm. you know. And we got to remind ourselves of our obligation to ourselves and to the movement. Yeah. Whenever these type of conversations come up, even if we st still do what you call compromise. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's it. Even if you're in a compromised predicament. Meaning work, work, working within contracts. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to start off. That's it, right? Yeah. Article, article 8, Article 9. Uh -oh. Or is that the Confederation? That's the Confederation. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I'm going to I'm going to read Article Six as a reminder, mm -hmm. and when I read Article Six, I always read Act Six next to it, mm -hmm. of, the, of the more Holy Temple of Science. All right. So keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Right. So I I always read Article Three, Article Six, Amendment Nine, as a reminder because we need to remind ourselves. Mm -hmm. All right. So Article Three. The judicial power of the United States shall be vested in one mm -hmm. Supreme Court mm -hmm. and in such inferior courts as the Congress may from time to time ordain and establish. The judges both of the Supreme and inferior courts shall hold their offices mm -hmm. during good behavior. good behavior. And they ain't been good behaviors. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we ain't even got to go through that. And shall at stated times receive for their services a compensation which shall not be diminished during their continuance in office. Section 2. The judicial powers shall extend to all cases. Mm -hmm. It shall extend to all cases in law and equity arising under this Constitution. The laws of the United States and the treaties... Mm -hmm. capitalized, made, or which shall be made under their authority. Our authority? <laughs> to all cases affecting ambassadors, other public ministers, and consuls. Mm -hmm. And consuls. Now, that's to a real, all cases. Real specific word. <laughs> of admiralty and maritime jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when you're talking yeah, admiralty and right maritime, still yeah. that too. Admiralty and maritime? Yes. Jurisdiction. The, the law of the sea, you mean? Even then. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. To count to uh, uh, controversies to which the United States shall be a party. Mm. To controversies between two or more states, mm. between a state and the citizens of another state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they talk about no change by Eleventh Amendment. They ain't change shit. <laughs> between citizens, of, they ain't want no convention. Well, no, between ain't. citizens of different states, between citizens of the same state claiming lands under mm. grants of different states mm. and between a state or the citizens thereof and foreign states, mm -hmm. citizens or subjects. Mm -hmm. Now you already know mm -hmm. that's an internet that's an international platform. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, so now mm -hmm. so let's go to Article Six. <laughs> All debts contracted and engagements entered into before the adoption of this constitution, that means these obligations existed before this constitution was even adopted. Mm. So now you're talking treaty mm -hmm. and the ordinance of 1787. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that means this constitution, without saying that, is already attaching you to the treaty and to the, and to the ordinance of 1787. Mm -hmm. So you got 1786, 1787, 1788, and 1789 successive mm -hmm. under protection of Article 6, mm -hmm. thus Act 6. Of the Moore's Holy Temple of Science. Mm -hmm. And we are teaching our people their nationality and, and their divine, divine creed. Mm -hmm. that they so come know. on. Mm -hmm. That they are part and parcel. It's this land. Yeah. And land, you already know what it means. Yep. All right, well, mm -hmm. I'm just throwing this out there. Yeah, for the record. Yeah. <laughs> we talking to them down there. I hope they listen. They put yeah. a mic on, they put on little mic yeah. buttons on you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so. Anyway. So adoption of this constitution shall be as valid against, as valid against mm -hmm. the United States under this constitution as under the Confederation. So that means them laws are still in effect. It's wrong. This don't this does not supplant them. They are all connected and active. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Mm -hmm. Now, this Constitution and laws of the United States which shall be made in pursuance thereof and all treaties made or which shall be made under the authority of the United States shall be the supreme law of the mm -hmm. land. All of them are the <laughs> supreme law, not secondary, mm -hmm. the supreme law. And that's the heart of the Moorish movement. Mm -hmm. So anybody that contradicts that, suppresses it, minimizes it, is in breach of their office. Islam. Islam. And against the people. And the breach of their trust as well, exactly. as, as, well as the covenant. And shall be removed. That's why Dwali did the additional bylaws. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. Act 1 addresses that argument. That's right. Anyway, mm -hmm. so... The authority of the United States shall be the supreme law of the land, and the judges of every state shall be bound thereby. Anything in the Constitution or laws of any state, to the contrary, notwithstanding. Not the senators and the representatives before mentioned and, and the members of the several state legislatures, and all executive and judicial officers, both of the United States and of the several states, shall be bound by oath or affirmation to support this constitution and no religious test mm. shall ever be required as a qualification to any office of public trust on the United States. So your religious beliefs ain't got a damn thing to do with so don't even enter that shit. Mm. Well thank you very much. Now yeah. let me go to uh, let me let me go to number four, number four says we, we we must observe these divine laws oh, and, and, exactly. and, and we must obey the constitution because by being uh, members we're part and parcel. Yep. Exactly. Let's so now, uh -huh. you said a nine, right, or eleven? Nine. So now, hold on. Yep, Amendment Nine. Yeah, they are convicted. They're convicted. You, you, you got that damn right. Call. <laughs> Amendment Nine to the Constitution, also referred to as the Bill of Rights. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right retained by the people. The enumeration in this Constitution, in the Constitution, of certain rights, which means they're, they're specific yep. and they're limited. That means they're delegated, right? Mm -hmm. Shall not be construed to deny or to disparage others retained by the people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that means the broad catch all. That means <laughs> even though you have people in government, mm -hmm. they are given the powers to exercise authority by representation on them rights, but those rights are not relinquished because of that office. Mm. They are still retained by the people. Mm -hmm. And when they breach any rights that they've been exercising goes back to the people. It is our duty and responsibility to enforce that constitution, which includes the treaties and the ordinances. So let's get off this bullshit. And this is back to where these people keep on thinking that because they got a title that they own the people's birthright. Yeah. So even with the title, even if they're not in breach, the rights still belong to the people. And the people had any time to what? Retain and reclaim and exercise that right. Why? Because it's unalienable. And they keep putting liens on these people's rights, yep. trying to pull rank. Yep, and trying to get them to sign Just remind them, just remind them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get them to sign them too. And we got re when, when people in these type of questions come up, yeah. that, that must be addressed all the time. I don't want to turn into a constitution. Uh-huh. Uh, Queen Sheiksies and, and Grand Sheiksies and, and uh, chairmen's chairmen and, <laughs> and, and associate chairmen's and all this other kind of stuff because, you know, they're trustee, vestry best, men, and wardens, you know. Uh -huh. and, and they are, they have... They uh, are fiduciary positions. Yes. So, therefore... Mm, this is good. <laughs> for the moment, anyway. <laughs> therefore, fundamental trust law Mm -hmm. between fiduciaries, mm -hmm. fulfers, beneficiaries, and heirs should be a taught process because heard statutes and the authority implies that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the bylaws implies that. Mm -hmm. So these people need to know civics mm -hmm. in order to keep this thing in order. Mm -hmm. That's why it's on the back of the... He said, you got the two books. It's on the back of the one on one. Our authority. You know, the 101 questionnaire. You know, our authority. And when those when those laws are violated, 
Justice must take its course. Uh-huh. What is justice when a fiduciary violates their office? They are thrown the fuck out. Uh-huh. It's called caveat emptor. That's all. Uh-huh. That's a reminder. No, that's real. And that's basically my answer. All right. But continue to read. All right. That um, <laughs> where you were. All right. Yeah, your meant already that fast. I busted it down, man. Oh. <laughs> it was good. All right. Oh, yeah. Mump it up so you can read it easy. Right there. Right there. Well, I don't think it'll get much bigger. I don't have a... Oh, no. boom. Come on. There we go. All right. The fact of the matter is, the United States... So I'm just going to start from the top on this section. Roosevelt and the Congress wages war against the Constitution... The fact of the matter is the United States Corporation did go bankrupt in 1913 or 1933 and was declared so by its president, Roosevelt, by Executive Order 6073,6102,6111 and by Executive Order 6260 on March 9, 1933. This was executed under the trade, quote, Trading with the Enemy Act, close quote, of October 6, 1917, as amended by the Emergency Banking Act, Relief Act. 48 statute 1 public law number 1 which is presently codified at 12 USCA 95A and confirmed by 95 at 95B. You can confirm this for yourself by reading it on finelaw.com. Thereafter, Congress confirmed uh, the bankruptcy on June 5th, 1933 and thereupon impaired the obligations and considerations of contracts through the joint quote joint resolution to suspend the gold standard and abrogate the gold clause. June 5th, 19, 1933, close quote, CHGR 192, 73rd Congress, first session. When the courts were called upon to rule on various on various of the provisions, and that might be an edit in there, yeah, yeah. on the various provisions des, uh, designed to implement and complement FDR's Emergency Banking Act Relief, Banking Relief Act of March 9th, 1933, they were all found unconstitutional. So what FDR did was simply stack the courts with Roosevelt's chosen uh, ubiquitous or obscuous chosen to fill it with his his personal members of the bench and the bar and then sent many of these cases back through and reversed the court's rulings which de- which declared these actions as unconstitutional. There's a little context clues there. House Joint Resolution 192, SGR 192, 48 Statute 112 was passed by Congress on, on June 5th, 1933. The act impaired the obligations and considerations of contracts and declared that the notes of the Federal Reserve Banks were, quote, legal tender, close quote, for the payment of both public and private debts, and that payment in gold coin was against, quote, public policy, close quote. In effect, Franklin Delano Roosevelt and Compromise U.S. Congress under executive orders and legislative fiat, nationalize the people's money, i.e. their gold coin, national, um, i.e. their gold coin. Nationalization is a violation of the law of nations and existing public policy of Congress. See Hilton v. Guyot, uh, 159. So we need to look at that case yeah. and see what the dispensation was to make clear the argument. Because mm-hmm. really, what is the nationalization and violation of law of nations? Why? Because the corporation can't nationalize shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I was finna ask you about. Yep, I'm, you I'm, we, no, you jumped to it. Consciousness uh, that people mm-hmm. need to be in at all times. Mm-hmm. But continue. All right. The gold coin that was confiscated, nationalized, was la- nationalized under corporatocracy, basically, was later used. Translation, they stole the yeah, people's stole guns. <laughs> yeah. Gold. Stole their guns and their butter. Was later used to purchase voting stockholders' shares. They stole the people's money and, and bought stock in the bank. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> in the bank and the fund at $35 an ounce. <laughs> Pennies on the dollar. Exactly. Jeez. <laughs> they stole people's finance, bankrupted them. And, put, and invested in the banks, man. Exactly. Trillions. Well, but good to go ahead. Woo-hoo. All right. At this point in time, Quote, fair market value, i.e. a willing seller and buyer without compulsion, lost any substantial meaning. Yeah, meaning that like what? The markets was fixed. No yeah. words like they rigged the markets yeah. and the mathematics didn't count. 
Mm -mm. That means arbitrarily, the bankers, i.e. the circle church, mm -hmm. could state anything they want to state in the record legally. Yeah. Because they use the offices of government to subvert the Constitution directly, and anything that was declared unconstitutional was declared public policy, and they're going to do it any fucking way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now you see why I put them statements there? The titles, yeah. Governors agreeing to miss prison. Moreover, all of the governors of the several states of the Union who were summoned to and were in Washington, D.C. during the several days of this pre-planned economic quote-unquote emergency, which was the first phase of which to nationalize and expropriate the people's money, i.e. their gold coin and deposit in the banks, pledge the full faith and credit thereof to the aid of the national government and formed various socialist committees, such as the Council of State Governments, the Social Security Administration, ETC, to purportedly deal with the economic quote-unquote emergency, close quote, uh, the Council of the State of, the Council of State Governments has been absorbed into such things as the National Conference of Commissioners on Uniform State Laws. So that means they, they what blended the authority they, yeah, they, into other orders. Yeah. That was gut. It was based, originally based on the government, but then put it on the corporate auspices, and then spread it out amongst other corporate yeah. names to hide mm, the, their the misprision. Real, yeah, the real power. In other words, the delegate they delegate authority to Sears, to Macy's, and to mm. other organizations that's yeah, not yes. clearly stated. Yes. And Duke Energy, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and the bail system. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, the Council of State Governments has been absorbed into such things as the National Conference of Commissioners on Uniform State Laws, whose headquarters is located in Chicago, Illinois, and of all being members of the Ball Bar Association mm -hmm. and operating on... So that's a conf violation of conflict of interest, right? There. And the nobility clause. And the nobility clause. Because they're taking continue. All, all right, and operating under a different, quote, constitution and bylaws, far distant from the department. So now they're foreign the agents. Right? Yep. But we'll go continue. Yeah, and it true. is this organization that has promulgated, lobbied for, passed, adjudicated, and ordered implementation and execution of their purported uniform, cl open, close quote, and quote, unquote, model, close quote, acts, and pretended statutory provisions in order to help implement international treaties of the United States or where world uniformity would be desired, desirable. 1991 slash 91 reference book NCCUSL. These organizations operate under the Declaration of Interdependence mm. of January 22nd, 1937 mm. and publish some of their activities in, quote, the Book of the States, close quote. Mm. The 1937 edition openly declares that the people engaged in such activities as the farming slash husbandry industry had been reduced to mere, oh, su such activities as the farming or a uh, husbandry industry had been reduced to mere, quote, feudal tenants on the land they supposedly owned. The Compromise Supreme Court, parentheses, bar members. On April 25th, 1938, the Supreme Court overturned the standing precedents, the standing precedence of the prior 150 years concerning, quote unquote, the common law and the federal government. And this is. So the common law is the Constitution. Yeah. Mm. In other words, they're openly. Subverting the Constitution. Yes. Mm hmm. And openly carrying out. And the then people. we go to the Social Security Administration and they assign a number mm -hmm. to the interest that concerns you and your inheritances, past and present and future, mm -hmm. to pledge. Or mm -hmm. hypothecate mm -hmm. to support the bankers and the debt, the and they house. give you a social security number mm -hmm. that they give to you, mm -hmm. but it belongs to them. And limit it. And put dashes in it, and then we move the dashes in the, in the nine-digit number mm -hmm. for going in and out of that sister Q trust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, with 95A, the fact of the matter is is that the debt belongs to them, not to you. Mm hmm. Hmm. And they're converting it to you every time you make an agreement with them. Mm -hmm. You're accepting it. But yet that is it. technically the remedy that was done, technically. Yeah. The discharge. To the you. discharge is their obligation. Yeah. But Matter of fact, 
The fact of the matter is, this is the issue where so-called bills they're sending you are actually coupons. Mm-hmm. And, and then they disallowed you the process mm -hmm. of redeeming it. Mm-hmm. Try to hold Woo. some taffy over your head. I'll tell you that you can't do what, it unless you got What time? 5.30. Oh, 5.30, all right. Y'all got to get ready to go myself. Um... But I just want to, so I just want to, yeah, I'm about to finish it. I'm just going to read it through. No, I just want to, you ain't got, you can, oh. do, but because you read the part that I'm going to do to read that I'm saying uh, to you. Cool. So all those things must be taken in consideration whenever we're interfacing with them. Mm hmm You know, and go ahead and take the liberty to expand, you know, all right. but the deal of it is that's basically what I'm, you know, throwing on the flash. So I took a paragraph that I found yeah. uh, about, about that and, and I just expanded on it. Yeah. And and I'm cleaning up. So so the Grand Sheiky should know this information too, you know? Should. That's what their position is. Islam. It's not should though. That's what the position is. Islam. That's like so so the bus driver should learn how to drive. <laughs> <laughs> so he should know how to make wide turns. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a bus driver. Does he need to know how to drive? Well we discuss <laughs> whether or not he can get to Atlantic City. <laughs> or what the conditions are. Well, I gotta see a map. No, you motherfucker, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta take it nice and slow, like he yeah. took the turtle out. Yeah, yeah take it nice and slow. We gonna, nice gonna, gonna, gonna do it for this. We gonna go nice and slow. You gonna say, nice you gonna say well, well, here it is, right here. And the Constitution says, well, I don't know. Where you get that document from? Yeah. What, do you, what, do you, what do you mean? I gotta see the you reference. Punch him in the face right there. Until you said that. Where shit. did you get this stuff from? This you, you said the Constitution <laughs> of the United States of America. <laughs> that's Act Four. That's yeah. Act Four. Yeah, they already know that they Being part and parcel of this government, what? You must live the life, must mm -hmm. live the life mm -hmm. accordingly. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So when, so you saying when, when the, the corporatocracy changes all their little, you know, rules and stuff, part of you being a grand sheik is to pay attention to that and... No, part of you did No, no. no. Out what not to do. What, <laughs> did, what did new Najee say to them when they start talking stuff? Did he not go to Act 1? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They supposed to go to Act please 1. Please read Act 1. <laughs> no, no. Please read Act 1. The Grand Sheik, uh, you talking about in, in the additional oh, laws? Uh, a Grand Sheik and the chairman of the World Science of America is empowered I'm to the make... German, but remind you. Keep yeah. going. <laughs> is empowered to make laws and uh, enforce laws with the assistance of the prophet and the grand body of the Moorish Science of America, or Moorish Holy Tendental Science. The assistant Grand Sheik is to assist the Grand Sheik in all affairs if he lives according to love, truth, truth peace, peace, freedom, and, and justice. And it is known, known before the members. Oh, do they know civics? Mm -hmm. Do they know the obligations of these people? Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. are they not clearly in breach? Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. Did new Najee tell them that? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody ain't been telling them that often enough, has they? Nope, nope. Clearly. So this is my point. That's the problem, right there. Because <laughs> ain't, nobody, ain't nobody came in there with it. And you know, they they, even brought it up. Cause cause everybody, nobody, yes. Like, really, when we went in there, it was just, they just wanted what to I'm, say, yeah. The point that I'm making it is the problem they have with y'all. Yeah. They're acting like you all are a problem when you are there enforcing a law that they are obligated to enforce. Y'all ain't enforcing, you're just mentioning it. And they're upset. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, like Why? Because it becomes clear. That they not only have not been uh, exercising the law or enforcing the law, they've actually been in breach of well, it. Mm -hmm. And by you bringing it up, just as a subject matter, puts it before the eyes of the people. And the people start thinking they will recognize that these people, have these people sitting up there at that podium, are Masonic infiltrators. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Who are part of the sellout that nobody wants to talk about. And it's apparent to any thinking person, but it's not necessarily apparent to somebody who ain't thinking who don't study. Therefore, they don't want nobody studying civics and they don't want nobody coming there mentioning civics. Mm. Why? The subject matter itself exposes them. You don't have to attack them personally. All you got to do is speak constitutional law and you're already showing who they are. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You don't have to do it. It becomes obvious. Yes. So that's my point. <clears throat> that's my... Uh -huh. And then back to our point, you know, with the nine digit 
you know, just yeah. remind you of yeah. that. And what we should be doing is enforcing 95A, 95B, because that's the remedy. Mm -hmm. But they, they'll, they'll, just like everything else, they'll give numbers, mm -hmm. but without the explained definition of what it implies. And what does it imply? That the debts, that the remedy was and is that they, that they, were supposed to be because they assigned themselves as fiduciaries mm -hmm. against the people and took the people's mm -hmm. gold and silver mm -hmm. coin. Mm -hmm. The remedy was that they were supposed to satisfy all debts, not you. Mm -hmm. That's where the discharge comes in. Mm -hmm. And then what they've been doing? What they they made no provisions where the people could go. The and process. go take and, and redeem these coupons mm -hmm. and the fact of the matter they didn't even have a right to put you on the burn to even have to go through the problem to have to go redeem a damn thing mm -hmm. yeah because mm -hmm. it's supposed to be already process. discharged mm -hmm. Hmm. I mean that you're not even supposed to be burdened to have to worry about it. Yeah, because yeah. that's what 10105905 is, you know, mm -hmm. it's theirs. It's our best. And then Juali did, did what? He said he he said for these people he set up a uh, um um, an order of trust, the Morris Holy Temple of Science, yes. unincorporated. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And for the protection of the people to come in, they adopted the religious affidavit under Herd's law. That's right. And set the Morris Science Temple of America, America. Yes. Mm -hmm. as the corporate name for, for the, the Morris, Morris Holy Temple, Temple of Science. Science. That's why they altered the authority on the back mm -hmm. of that thing saying the Morris Science Temple adopted the name Morris Science Temple. Mm -hmm. Bullshit. Morris Temple of Science adopted. As its corporate name, the Morris Science Temple, Temple of America. America. They even tampered with that instrument. That's why they upset when Morris said, you know, oh, it looks like the original documents say here part and parcel. And y'all done modified these documents. Mm -hmm. See, because see, they know they're in breach. This is why as soon as you start talking, they'll start getting on subject matter that you ain't even brought up. Because they same, already yeah. know. <laughs> They're in breach. Yeah, trying to divert. Talking about Jews. What the hell? Yeah. What are you so talking it's about? Sort of my, you know Jews how they say like answering qu answering questions that wasn't asked type yeah. thing? That's yeah. exactly what happened. Because <laughs> Jews. They were talking about Jews. Man, yeah. nobody talking about no nobody fucking brought up Jews. No Jews. They yeah. talking about, oh, we're supposed to be a nation like the Jews. Yeah, they are like the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Jew ain't no damn nation. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's oh, a they got a flag. They got a flag. You know, they they got are flag. full they got land. of shit. And I asked them, I was like, wasn't they supposed to be somewhere like Rwanda or something? Before they, they decided to take over Palestine, <laughs> and, and no, for you know, know, even the stuff that they be talking <laughs> is in breach of the movement. Yeah, he's Let's just give the people some final thoughts in the last mm -hmm. five minutes that we got on the tape here. Yeah, basically, it cannot be emphasized enough: the enforcement of the Constitution for the United States, mm -hmm. the divine warning by the prophet for the nation, uh, which clearly states the heart of the Morrison movement. Because he's because. Mm -hmm. Let, let, this needs to be emphasized more and more, and especially when you go to the temples. Again, bring this up. Mm -hmm. Go to the divine warning. You don't have to read the whole thing because they get they get you know they get starry eyed mm -hmm. and they start looking in the corner like this. So you already know they sleep. Mm -hmm. Help me in my great missionary work. That's a precluding statement mm -hmm. and a request and a command by the prophet Nicodemus. Help me. In my great missionary work, to bring my people back into the constitutional fold of government. Now, I ask you this. Is that not a statement that clearly dispenses a clear comprehension of the cause that created the Morris Divine National Movement? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Is, so the constitutional enforcement is primal, not secondary. Mm -hmm. It is primal. To the Morris movement, it is very clear, and he and, and he did not just say divine warning to the nation. He said nations. Right. Therefore, it is a diversity platform. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then he opens up the divine warning with talking about Japanese, Chinese, mm -hmm. and others. Mm -hmm. That's the opening statement. Mm -hmm. That is a diversity statement. Mm -hmm. Is it not? That's right. right. Directly. You're speaking about other nationalities. So when somebody in the Moor Science Temple starts even saying Juali didn't teach civics, mm -hmm. or when they even imply to overlook Article 3 in any form, they're enemies to the cause. Islam. 
and they've been getting away with it because they have controlled the education of these people and they've been calling their private political platform religion mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they haven't even been teaching religion it's gone. It's gone. and that's the truth they've been getting away mm -hmm. with condemning civics mm -hmm. which is the heart of the Moorish movement condemning anyone or any group of Moors who've been enforcing the constitutions as if they're renegade when it's clearly the center of the movement, mm -hmm. they've been altering clearly the prophet's documents. There's been no constitutional convention, but they know that people who don't know civics don't know that those major articles and constitutions and documents cannot be lawfully or legally changed without a constitutional convention. Islam. And there has been no constitutional convention Islam. for the United States or in the Morris Science Temple That's of America. Right. That's right. That's now right. that's a fact, and that the Moore Science Temple of America is, in fact, not technically, in fact, the corporate name for the Moorish Holy Temple of Science, which means the Temple of Science has not disappeared. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And it's not some separate. It has been. It has <laughs> been covered up. Anyone who can read can see that there's clearly a breach. Not only a breach. But a conscious and active sellout and suppressing of the Morris Temple of Science. Mm -hmm. They keep acting like the civic organization, which is the Morris si uh, Holy Temple, Temple of Science. Science. You can look in the microfilm in Chicago because mm -hmm. I went there. Mm -hmm. It was registered as a civic organization. That's right. That's right. That's right. And so the operations of the Morris movement was civic. Mm -hmm. The religious affidavit was adopted. At a, the cause for it, yep. not its adoption, mm -hmm. was on July the 20th on a Ninth, special meeting. Ninth, yes. And as a matter of fact, to celebrate that, they murdered Duali on that very same day, the very next year. One year later. Mm -hmm. July the 20th. Mm -hmm. The same day that they had a special meeting to adopt. That religious affidavit, which was later done in August, and it's right there in the authority. Mm -hmm. It says the Moors Holy Temple of Science adopted as its corporate name. Now, is that not clear? Mm -hmm. Very clear. Adopted as its corporate name. That means it served the purpose of doing the corporate business, wow. and that the core of the movement stayed unincorporated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a DBA. You got that right. <laughs> and so the Moore Science Temple of America, the corporate name was adopted in 1928, not 1913. That's and right. anyone who says that, to the contrary, has been lying. Yeah. Thank you very much. Right. Right. All right.